What's going on guys? It is Mason of Dalpini here today, and you know, we need to talk. What are we going to talk about, you ask? Oh, it's a game that I'm going to be super, super excited to get. Uh, super Mario Odyssey. That's the simple title. That's exactly what it is. Everybody knows about it at this point. If you're interested in the Switch, obviously it's going to be one of the must-have holiday titles this year. Oh my goodness, can we just talk about how wide range and how amazing this game is looking, okay? Mario is running through a city right now. That's what you're looking at. When has that ever been a thing? I, I don't know. This is some kind of real world modern era of Mario now. This is what's going down. Nintendo is creating this game inspired by real worlds and countries and everything in this game is packed. It looks like it used to, you know? Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 were good. And then it kind of got worse with the 3D Land slash World Series, and I'm not going to lie, I liked them, but you know, I think this is really, really going to succeed, because not a, a, there's a few reasons, okay? The Wii U had the 3D World name tied into it, along with the 3DS having 3D Land. The 3DS sold better than the Wii U, but they both had the 3D games. Now, nobody wants that kind of stuff to come back. The Wii U was a failure, let's be honest. But in all seriousness, I really think Nintendo is finally listening to fans. Maybe they have been all this time, we just don't know. But this is a game people have been begging for for the last 15 years, guys. In 2002, 2001, somewhere around there, Super Mario Sunshine released for the GameCube. That was the last game of its kind until this releases. This is a thing that everybody fell out of their chairs over. This is a game that we have been wanting for so, so long. I thought Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 were the best. Those are actually my favorite Mario games, besides Mario 64. Um, you know, actually scratch that because Sunshine was good too. Like the first three or four 3D Mario games were spectacular to me. And I would really like to see that kind of stuff return. But I lost all hope I had when I saw 3D World on Wii U. I figured, you know, maybe they just lost their creativity. Oh no, I was completely driven wrong there, wasn't I? You know, you just gotta talk about it because this is a game that nobody expected to see this vast. This is huge. It, it, what? I don't understand. My point is, I've watched this trailer for so many times now that I've looked at so many details, I've picked up so many cool things that I want to talk about. Um, I know I'm not the typical analysis channel, and that's not by any means what I'm trying to do here. I just want to point out some things that I thought were kind of cool, and ideas that I had for this game that could potentially be the case for how it's going to work. Please do not compare me to Game Explain because they are incomparable. You cannot put anybody up against them. They will win. Always. It's Game Explain. They do that job best. But anyway, welcome to New Donk City. This is a city that, you know, I feel like this would really, really make a good hub. This does not look like an actual world to me. It may sound weird, but hear me out. My theory is that this is Mario's hub for the game. And that sounds crazy because, you know, there's so much going on here. It looks like its own thing. There's people walking around and everything. There's question blocks as, like, light stands and all this stuff on the streets. And there's just a lot going on. But keep in mind, this is a big city Mario is running around in. Remember Mario 64 had the paintings to jump into to go to a level? And how maybe, I don't know, Sunshine had paintings to go into a level? Well, what could be a little more modern but in a big city? Stop right here. Now zoom in, look at this thing. I don't know about you, but this reminds me a lot of this part of this trailer. These look the same, this building and this thing in this picture. Maybe it is purely coincidental, but you know, it looks too similar not to mean something. That's why I think the hub world is actually the city from the beginning of the trailer. But then what is the giant hat for that Mario flies around and all about? This. Well. Maybe we'll just find out about that some other time, because maybe it's not time for that yet. But I think it makes sense. I want to know if it makes sense to you. Let me know down below in the comments, what do you think the Mario Odyssey hub is going to be? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I have an idea? Do you think I'm kind of onto something here? I don't know. I just noticed it and I wanted to talk about it. So there you go. Very brief explanation. I know. But I needed to get it off my chest because I needed to see what other people would think. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and I will talk to you next time.